Don't act smart thinking the Home Office will not know when you apply to switch your tier 4 student visa to a tier 2 work visa while you are still studying. As you all know, the UK government recently announced that international students studying in the UK can no longer switch from their student and visa to a work visa while they are still studying until after their course completion date. But guys, some persons are thinking this is just a mere announcement and they can go ahead to make their switch of visa to a skilled worker visa from their student visa and the home office will not be aware of all of this. These are many more I'll be talking on this video. So you need to stick with me to the end of this video so you can get the full information about what is happening and the implication of switching from your student visa to a work visa while you are still studying. So guys, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. As you all know, my name is Victor. If you are new to this channel, in this channel, I give latest updates about UK and UK immigration, ways you can migrate to another kingdom through the skilled worker migration route. I also talk about lifestyle. If this content looks like something that interests you, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and join the amazing evergreen family. And you can also like and share this content so that so many persons can benefit from it. So without further delay, let's get straight to business. In the recent statement of change made by the UK government, it was officially announced that international students studying in the UK can no longer switch um, their tier 4 student visa to a tier 2 work visa while they are studying. Not just to tier 2 work visa, to any class of visa while they are studying until the end of their course completion date. This was officially announced and it has been come a law since it was announced. After the announcement, if you go ahead to make application for switch of your visa from tier 4 student visa to a tier 2 work visa, that will earn you a refusal because it has been officially announced that those who are on tier 4 student visa can no longer switch to tier 2 work visa until the end of their study. Even with this announcement being made, some persons are thinking they can still outsmart the UK VI to go ahead to make a switch of their tier 4 student visa to tier 2 work visa while their course is still in progress. Most employers are not aware of these changes. As such, they tend to issue a certificate of sponsorship to students who are still studying. I haven't had the opportunity to speak with an employer who told me they are not aware about the skilled worker migration route in the health and care sector, which they believe will be something that will help their organization because one of the major problems they are facing is staff retention. They find out that staff keep coming and going after they train them. They understand how they, um, they understand the business need before you know they are leaving and a new set of persons are coming in. So with uh, a sponsored uh, employee who you are guaranteed to work with you for three to five years, that would be something that would be welcome in the organization. I just have to explain to her how it works and she can go to gov.uk website to, to read and do some research for herself. And when she's in doubt, she can contact an immigration lawyer to help her with all of this process. So ever since I've not heard from her, but though I'm still keeping tab with um, the latest development. The same thing with so many employers that are not aware of some of these latest updates, latest development uh, from the UK Home Office about um, students not able to switch from their first student visa to a tier two work visa or any class of visa. So they tend to issue certificate of sponsorship to those they want to sponsor. And for you who need a sponsorship and you are still studying, you will not be doing yourself any good because you end up wasting um, your visa fee, application fee and all that because the home office will definitely spot it and your visa will be refused because from the day it was announced, they never said it would take effect from a postdated date. They said it take effect 3 p.m. on that set date the um, statement of change was announced. So any boy that is still studying, right, even if you had your certificate of sponsorship issued to you before that very day, you can no longer use it to apply for your tier 2 work visa because it has already been passed into law that International students studying in the UK can no longer switch. Even with this announcement, some persons are still going about making visa application, thinking they will be able to outsmart the UK Home Office, thinking the UK Home Office will not be able to spot 
all of these um, visa application owing to the fact that the number of persons making visa application to the UK are much and the UK Home Office will not be able to support. Unfortunately, those who try doing it got a decision on their visa and the decision was not something they were expecting, right? So guys, if you are working with an employer who promised to issue you a certificate of sponsorship after you've worked with them for a particular period of time, and it's time to not issue the second sponsorship uh, going by their initial promise. With this statement of change released and a couple of days back, right, I would advise you tell your employer to hold on, right, to the completion of your study. A day after the completion of your study, the second sponsorship can be issued, right? If you know um, your course completion date is something that is lesser than 90 days, you can even ask your employer to issue the second sponsorship and have it post dated right but if you know um your course end date is something that it's longer than 19 days you just need to tell your employer to hold on until when you run up your program before they can issue you circular of sponsorship that you can use to uh, make your visa application don't try to act smart thinking if you make your visa application now the uk home office will not spot it right two persons as i'm speaking to you have got their visa denied what that implies is the visa fee has gone. The amount the employer used in um, applying for the certificate of sponsorship to sponsor you, that amount has gone, right? So many persons don't know that employers actually paid for the certificate of sponsorship. To sponsor an employee in a small organization, employer paid minimum of £1,820 to the home office. So just imagine your employer paying such an amount, right? To sponsor you and at the end of the day your visa it's um denied as a result of you not adhering to a simple rule that was put in place by the government right this will not be a good tale on your part and that of your employer so that is why you need to stick to this channel because i bring latest information about uk and uk immigration as they unfold you can no longer switch from your tier 4 student visa to there are two work visa until the end of your course completion dates. Any information about you that the UK Home Office wants to get, it's there at their fingertips. So don't think you can outsmart them. Don't think you can play smart on it. At the end of the day, you spend your resources, you waste your time, and you even lost credibility with your employer because they don't know these uh, rules or this law has been put in place. But you that are aware of it, why don't you let them understand that? This thing is not possible at this time. Why don't we wait to um, a different time if it's possible rather than align them to spend their resources to make um, the uh, application for setting a sponsorship for you and at the end of the day, you get your visa, your visa um, refused as a result of you not adhering to simple law that we have made. Don't think you can outsmart the UK Home Office or the UK government. If they want to investigate you, all they need to do is just to do a background check on you run through your NI, run through anything that pertain you in the UK, your visa history and all that. At your fingertip, they will get all of this information. So guys, you need to act according to the law. Whatever the law states, whatever that is uh, applicable at that time, try to adhere straight to it so that you will not fall short of the law. Some persons that were recently um, had visa denier as a result of this, it was clearly stated I would have displayed the letter they got from um, the UK Home Office, but they told me not to do so. For that reason, I will adhere to that because I actually seek their consent to bring it up here in my channel, but they declined. But some of the things that was contained in that letter was clearly stated that must complete their course of study before they can apply and also get a proof from their university that they are not owing any outstanding fee to the university. If you are thinking, switching from tier 4 to tier 2 and um, thereby invading payment of your balance tuition fee the uk Home office is also asking you to get a letter from your school showing that you are not indebted to them that you've paid all the statutory fee you are meant to pay right and in that letter they are told not to reapply again i that's one area that scared me because they are told do not reapply do not reapply till after your course end date or do not reapply for skilled worker visa that is something to me i told them to seek the uh, advice of an immigration lawyer because this is something that is above my scope right 
for the home office to tell you don't reapply again and they never said don't reapply between this time all this time they only stated don't reapply and it was even written in capital letter do not reapply so guys don't try to be too smart so that you will not go and burn your finger these two persons they got almost the same um response from uk home office but the part that scared me most is that part that states do not reapply and it was not stated do not reapply after the before this time or after this time it was only stated in capital letter do not reapply this is scary and my candid advice is for them to seek uh, the advice on of an immigration lawyer to help them explain this and see if it's something they can respond to the home office to get more clarification but that is really scary for the home office to tell them do not reapply because definitely it was clearly stated right that you must complete your course uh, of study before you make application they know about this right i'm sorry to say this they knew about this they can't tell them they don't know about this and they still went ahead to go uh, to do their official application thinking they can um as smart the home office or thinking they can do things in their own way sorry about this i'm not happy about it but we need to learn from it it's a sad experience it's a sad tale but then those who are listening to this video should get their information right and see how they can stay away of all of this and drama but this drama is uncalled for and it's something that's avoided so guys we've come to the end of this video you can give a thumb up to the video so youtube can recommend to a wider audience and you can leave your thoughts in the comment box if you've not subscribed to this channel please you can subscribe to it right away so you can join the amazing ever-growing family see you in my next video